Hello, guys and gals, me, Mudahar. And uh, before we continue over here, I want to just state for the record, Muda's all about that free speech life. Don't get me wrong. Uh, when it comes to a private company, for instance, like Valve, or like YouTube, Google, whatever you want to call it, uh, that isn't really something that people have to respect. You know, if you find your company is violating that, then feel free to boycott it on your own personal content. Mood is also not a land of the PC heavy individuals. I'm not, I'm not a fucking politically correct individual like that either. I think, I think that evident fact has been raised quite a few times. But that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I got a story of infinite crack rock wisdom to fucking guide you with. Because I, I don't know why, but, but Valve let this one slip. So for those of you who've been a little bit out of the loop, who haven't been focusing on the PC gaming side of things, it's all fine. Uh, Steam, which is uh, Valve's content delivery platform where we buy a lot of our favorite PC games. Yeah, that fucking content delivery platform let a game called Rape Day fucking show up on its charts. Now, I don't have to be sitting here and telling you that, hey, I'm all for co I'm all for freedom of speech over there. I'm I'm down. If you if you want to buy a game like that, that's all up to you. I might find it a little weird, but hey, man, as long as you're not actually hurting anybody, by all means, dude, go go download all the weird shit you want. But uh, Muda's not uh, against the idea of common sense. If you're a fucking company that runs one of the biggest online game stores in the world, you probably shouldn't have a game where the principal gameplay fucking element, or not principal gameplay element, but one of the elements is actual uh, a raping that's going on. Um, you know, I play tons of games that are very crime-oriented. I don't think a single one of them has the ability for me to fucking forcibly insert my PP into a lot of things. I don't think that has that ability, but... I might be wrong, I don't know, I only play like, uh, you know, how many fucking games every time they come out, right? But anyways, let's go on with this fucking beautiful subject. Anyways, they allow this fucking game to come on, and this game isn't anything special. First of all, the game in question over here that's that's been in this uh, hot topic issue has, uh, has absolutely no merits to it in my opinion. It's one of these visual novel games which Steam has bundled with, with a dime a dozen. It's set in a zombie apocalypse, you know, rape day I guess, a fucking zombie apocalypse, and uh, you play as a sociopath that could, in fact, sexually assault only female characters, by the way. So you can't even you can't even bang dudes if you wanted to. I don't know why that's not allowed. It's 2019 of all things. We should be we should be accepting of everything going on. Don't don't know why we're not why that's not even a bigger issue if you ask me personally. But anyways, this game gets kicked off Steam. And rightfully so. I don't see any merits to it at all. It's one of these asset flip visual novel games. And, you know, it's not even one of the decent visual novel games like Cyberpunk, Valhalla, Bartending, Waifu. Like, that. That that's a good time. All right? That's a really good time. Danganronpa is a great vi vi visual novel, dude. You fuck, even that bird dating game, Had to Full Boyfriend, is a fucking decent time and a half. This one was a game that was literally engineered for the purpose of being edgy. That was it. There was no other merit to it other than that, if you ask me that's my personal opinion if you if you think it's game of the fucking year well well guess what it's game of the fucking year for you then buddy congratulations but muda muda's got to speak his mind on what he thinks is true to him anyways though looking further into this guys ladies and gentlemen it's finally off steam Val, valve responded and i guess they're looking into their shit right now and this leads me into the biggest thing that I think a lot of PC gamers, I mean, I've been talking about it for fucking years at this point, is uh, Valve. You need to step your shit up a fair bit. Now, if you look at one of the best gaming companies in the world, in my opinion, one of them at some point in time was actually Valve. They made some really good games. Uh, nobody's going to take that away from them. They made some really cool gaming technologies. I still pull up the original Source Engine Showcase and was blown away to this day by some of the stuff they engineered back then. Half-Life 2 might not be my favorite game ever. In fact, it's nowhere close to one of my favorite games ever, but I had a decent time playing it, and I was blown away when it came out. It looked really fucking cool. Uh, Half-Life 1, fucking great PC game. You know, Counter-Strike, <laughs> you know, all the, all the mods they bought and sold up, you know, they were nice. Valve, at one point, made really cool games. And then they decided, man, microtransaction hats and, and, and running our own storefront is a lot more fucking profitable than making video games, so fuck the video game side of it. But when we make video games, we'll make monetized, friendly video games. So anyways, going off on a tangent, Valve has a store, right? Steam. 
The problem with Steam is back in the day, it used to have some form of fucking curation added to it. Like when I used to use Steam back in like the 2012s, like 2013 days, Steam was pretty solid. Like you were buying games that were well curated, put on the store that it was a professional fucking storefront. And then they added Steam Greenlight, which was a cool concept, you know, adding indie games that people could vote on and then we would buy them. That was nice. And then the floodgates opened and we got all the industry cottage, fuck, the cottage industry of terrible terrible Unity Acid Flips and fucking bargain bin games that were just added to the storefront. And if you go on Steam right now, you can find a fucking billion of these existing out on the marketplace. Like, it's it's terribly bad. You know, Jim Sterling had, like, his whole video series. I think that guy even got, I think Jim got sued over fucking ripping on some of these uh, terrible, shitty developers. And anyways, long story short, they got these crappy games floodgating into the market. And now we're at a point where it's not even curated. So something like Rape Day showing up is no surprise. In fact, if you ask me, there's probably a hundred other games like Rape Day still sitting on the Steam store. Not too long ago, there was a, there was a Steam game where you could role play an actual school shooting, which was, uh, I mean, you played as the counter-terrorist, I believe, but regardless... It was a school shooter game released onto the Steam store. And again, these were all Unity asset flips. Like they got basic, you know, asset packs, flipped a game up in a day and sold it off to the store for like five bucks. People bought it, memed on it. You call it whatever you want. That's how it worked out. So yeah, this game comes out with this obvious, obvious troll baiting fucking shit. I mean, let's be real here. This game was literally created to cost some fucking drama, not because it was made by, you know, a super passionate developer who was willing to give you a really gritty look. <laughs> Of a, of a zombie apocalypse. And because of that, you know, we have a situation where now it makes the storefront look bad and, and kind of the medium in general, if you want to look at it from a broad sense of terms. You know, when I talked about multiple different launchers on my PC gaming videos getting annoying, I, I mean, yeah, I, do I do I not like having a billion launchers on my computer? Absolutely. I do not like it. I find it fucking annoying. But I look at all those other launchers like Epic Games, like Uplay, like Origins, even Bethesda.net. And I think to myself, you know, some of these, sure, they're completely brand spanking new, like Bethesda.net for me and Epic Games. And between both of them, I only own one game on each platform. I look at something like Uplay and something like Origin, which actually does sell third-party video games to, uh, you know, if you don't know about that. It's not just exclusively EA and Ubisoft games. And those storefronts, while they don't exactly allow everyone to upload and sell their game, they are definitely curated segments. Do I believe that you can have, you know, community, like, games being sold on the Steam Marketplace? abso fucking lootly. But Valve, if you're not making games, you should better police your content. Because shit like this getting through through makes the entire platform fucking look kind of bad. You know, <coughs> it takes me back to my Manhunt 2 playthrough. That game is not allowed on Steam. Uh, you know, fucking even Rape Play isn't allowed on Steam. That that one game that everyone busted a tit about. Manhunt 2 is an adults-only game. It is an adults-only game. It's hyper-violent. It's hyper-sexual. It is, without a doubt, one of the most adult games that I have played. Now, when I made that video, I had to actually source another janky website that was selling adults-only video games to buy myself a copy of Manhunt 2. Could I have bought it on Steam? No, because it went against Steam's terms of services, which I don't get why that doesn't fucking apply to a game literally called Rape Day. It doesn't make any sense. You would think one of the biggest storefronts in the fucking world would sit down and say, hey, if I'm posting a game and the title has the word rape, terrorism, I don't know, whatever. The description has a string of characters that say, hey, one of my gameplay features is to forcibly destroy people's rectums with my PP. Maybe I should spit out a fucking error to the goddamn uploader and say, hey, that doesn't go with our terms of service. You don't even have to hire people to curate that shit. It's a fucking algorithm. It's a fucking piece of code that prevents it from happening. I don't understand it. As a fucking programmer, I can connect the dots and see what you should have done. I feel like Mr. Fucking Hindsight, but it's really not having hindsight. It's having common sense about running one of the biggest storefronts in the world. It just doesn't make any sense to me at all. Now, there's a lot of people out in the world here who 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 find this to be some great champion victory. For me, I'm not against 
you know, freedom of speech. I, I, I am very much for it. I'm actually for if you want to play this game. If this is a game that genuinely interests you, I fully support your right to play it. I think that there should be a storefront for you that very much sells adult-only video games, and they will sell you this game. It's not illegal to play this game, provided it doesn't have any illegal material in it. But at the same time, am I going to think it's a little weird? Sure, I'm not going to I'm not going to fucking prevent you from touching it at all. Go for it if you want to. But at the same time, there are different storefronts for different things. If I wanted to buy an adult video, I can't if I wanted to watch or buy an adult video, I can't do it on youtube.com. I can't do it on Netflix. I can't do it on a lot of these mainstream sites. But I could go to sites like Brazzers, like Pornhub, like X Videos, whatever you want to call it. Man, I know a lot of fucking porn sites. Jesus Christ, I'm an addict. You can go to a lot of these sites and buy your content and that's it it's separate sites based on what you're buying you know, this is one of those situations I don't understand why it even had to happen from Valve's perspective that's the question nobody asked nobody posed why this even happened in the first place and anybody saying that it's a freedom right of course it's totally your freedom it's just different fucking stores for different for, for different kinds of you know products then again you know, at the end of the day, I have my own thoughts. I think a little differently sometimes. I'm a little weird. I'm a little off my fucking medicine. But that's just kind of the stuff that I'm thinking should have happened with this game. But it didn't. Finally, it did get removed, and I believe Valve is going to look into what they're doing. But it's like one of those things that, like, it's a little too late when it shouldn't have even happened in the first place type scenarios to me. And even then, even then... It's like, come on, Valve, step your shit up with that. And, and, and you know, even, even the media that's claiming some big, giant victory over this, ask the right questions. Why aren't competent developers ever putting in safeguards for stuff like this to happen in the first place? But hopefully, you know, we got a good result out of it in the end. You know, you know, a, a crappy acid flip got removed, which is a win-win for me on Steam anyways. But at the same time, you know, I, I really am ragging on this game quite a bit, but... That being said, ladies and gentlemen, this is just my thoughts to it. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Just like if you dislike it. Let me know what you think about it. This is me, Muda, and I am out.